Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have a little experiment planned. I want to try to get a butter knife as sharp as possible. For this I plan to use my workshop machine here to get the initial grind, see how far it can get us and then if it still needs some work we can go onto the Japanese sharpening stone and polish it on there until we get to a razor sharp butter knife. Without further ado, let's get right in. Here we have our workshop machine. It's loaded with a 120 grit belt, which is the coarsest one I have, which is great for the initial stock removal because as you can see, the edge is still very thick. I have it set to a 15 degree angle, which is the shallowest one it can do. And that should give us all the help that we need to get this to a razor sharpness. So after quite a bit of grinding we are done and we have successfully removed all of the serrations on the edge. We, it's just a normal edge right now and it still, it, it feels very sharp. So let's test it with a paper cut. Okay, it does cut it, but there are still some defects. I think it's uh, still a very rough edge, so that's why it tears so much. But that would make sense because we are only at a 120 grit. So let's continue onto more finer grits and then see how it does. Now we are onto the medium grit belt. Now the edge is quite a bit more polished. Let's see if it does the paper cut any better. Yeah, that's a lot better. It still has some trouble sometimes, which I think could be an uneven grind. And I don't even really feel it, but I think the edge is just, it's just too coarse because, well, it's not made out of a normal knife steel. But I think, well, maybe if we go onto even finer grits or then sharpen by hand, we can uh, solve this issue. Now we're coming off of the finest belt I have and it's getting quite reflective. And it feels, well, it feels just as sharp as before, but right now I think we will give it a few passes on the leather strop to improve it. Maybe this can bring out the sharpness of the knife. I'm going on a very shallow angle. Normally I use quite a lot of pressure and go very steep because it doesn't really matter, but because this steel is so soft, we need to be really careful. Now let's try the paper cut again. And it's getting it's getting better. I think there are still small defects, but maybe this this doesn't really matter for shaving, so let's try this out. Let's try out if it can shave my arm here. It pulls a bit, but as you can see, it takes it off very, very easily. I think if we give it a few passes on the Japanese sharpening stone and polish it up really nicely, I think we can get this to improve a little bit. So if you think, why is this even something special? Because sharpening a knife that's yeah something completely normal but these cheap butter knives aren't made out of the same steel as uh, your normal kitchen knives and they are unhardened they usually don't have enough carbon to be hardened and that means they are quite a bit softer but 
because they contain a lot of chrome, uh, they are still harder than like a piece of sheet steel, for example. So I think there is a chance that we can get this to shave your face pretty good. Uh, but I don't think the edge will hold up very long. And it also means that when we get to a very fine edge, it will have a tendency to roll over super easily. That's why I'm sharpening right here with very, very little pressure because I don't want to put too much pressure on this very soft edge to roll it over and then ruin our sharpness. Now let's put it on a leather strop again for the last time and see if we've improved it. Now let's test this the sharpness again for the last time and see if we've improved it with our Japanese sharpening stone. And that is quite a bit better. That actually shaves very, very nicely. That that definitely did, uh, that did the trick. Putting it on the Japanese stone, I think, with a which has a very hard surface. It doesn't have any gif uh, in comparison to the machine, which has the belt just running loose. And I think that you really need that very hard backing to sharpen the edge properly because we are so soft and it will just it will always put pressure directly on the edge if you have a very loose belt and that it just can't handle it it will just roll over too easily but if you have a hard backing you can if you don't put too much pressure on it and hold the correct angle you can shape it in into a very fine point much more easily and then if you continue with the dropping leather this is still quite a bit harder than a loose belt and that really does the trick and that is i think a very nice result because that's it's it's a lot sharper than most of the cheap uh, kitchen knives you buy and even quite expensive kitchen knives actually and the edge looks pretty good it's super shiny and i'm pretty pleased with the result you can definitely use this uh, for shaving so that was it for this video I hope you liked what you saw. If you have any suggestions for weird things I could try to sharpen, then feel free to leave a comment. If you liked it, then leave a like, subscribe, and then I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.